Oh, hey there. My name's David. On this episode, I'll be showing you five frugal backpacking hacks. So you see, I've got five different things here. First off, bear spray. Now, bear spray, you can see this one's quite old, and that's just it. Bear spray doesn't expire. Now, technically, it has an expiration date on it. This one is 2018. I bought this one about eight years ago. It's still effective even after it expires. It just legally has to have an expiration date on it. Now, I would say I wouldn't bring this if you were going solo backpacking or hiking. Um, bring this at, if you're with a group and multiple people have bear spray or at least one other person has bear spray, then you can bring this one. But otherwise, you know, get a new can if you're going solo. Now, the second tip is adapting your cooking like this jet boil to use propane. Now, typically a jet boil or any of these kind of cookers, they use this, which is uh, isobutane or butane, but they have a different nozzle type on the top. You can see this one versus a propane has like a big hole. Now what you can do is just buy this little doohickey on Amazon, which converts your jet boil to propane. Now, this is more useful for car camping because no one wants to be hauling this up, but potentially if you're going for like a long backpacking trip or something, you want to carry a bigger canister like a propane canister and often propane is cheaper. You can get yourself one of these doohickeys, which I'll link down below. And all this thing is, is it just attaches on the propane, this screws in there, and then the cooking thing will attach to this side. Bada bing, bada boom. Save some money and use up those propane tanks if you have any that are kind of sitting around. Now, the third tip is using toilet paper empty rolls to start fires. Now, first off, what I do is I get a whole bunch of these things and then I fold one and I kind of fold it in half and then fold it in half almost again and I put it inside another one and then you kind of get it smushed in there so it kind of fits the contour and you can stack a whole bunch and that's what I have here. This weighs hardly anything and the benefit to this, especially if you still have some of the paper on it, is you can rip the paper off, put it inside like this and then you can light your fire inside there. So if you're in a really windy situation, you'll have protected uh, from the elements and the gusts of wind when you're starting a fire. And this makes it just in general really easy to start a fire. You put there, you know, put it in the middle of your fire pit, put some sticks over it, and then get your fire going easy peasy with one of these. And if you have a whole stack like this, then you have multiple fire starters for free. Now the fourth frugal trip, frugal trip, why do I keep saying trip? Now the fourth frugal, <laughs> Now the fourth frugal tip I have is a backup headlamp by using one of these bike lights. So these bike lights are pretty bright and they also have a blinker on them, but they, um, and they have a shock cord that kind of wraps around and attaches to your uh, handlebars. And there's different styles here. You can see, um, you know, this, this is one's actually a tail light, so it's red. You wouldn't want to use this one, but this one you can see nice and bright and this attaches just like that. So you can easily attach this to a part of your clothing, your backpack, if you want to just put it shoulder mounted or whatever. Because if you're in a pinch, you need a, a headlamp and you forgot to bring yours or yours died, it's always good to just have an extra one of these poking around your bag. They're super cheap. I'll link these up down below. I think you can buy a four pack of these things for like 10 bucks. So, and there's different styles too. Some of them have these straps and stuff, but uh, these silicone ones are nice too because they actually protect the electronics in there too. So they're not waterproof, but they're water resistant. You know, let me show you in the dark. Now you don't see me, now you do. So if it's pitch black out, you can imagine, like this is quite a bit of light. You can, you can definitely see the ground with this thing. And the fifth frugal backpacking or hiking hack I have is to get one of these things, which is a mosquito net. You can see it has a full, it's got the full deal. It's got the, the arms and everything. And you're gonna look super cool wearing one of these in camp, let me tell you. But if you ever been to camp and you're getting eaten alive, you don't care. <laughs> so put on one of these hideous things. Now this one has the, the hood thing, so it actually can fit your whole jacket in here. And then it has a zipper, whatever, somewhere around here, right there. You can get your head out. Ah! Um, but what's frugal about these? Well, you can actually find these at the dollar store sometimes for a few bucks. I don't know if the quality, this is what this one is. This one's from the dollar store, four bucks. Um, I don't know if the quality is as good as the ones you can buy on Amazon. There's some on there, 15, 20 bucks, and maybe they're a lot better quality, but either way, they come with these shock cord sleeves, as you can see, and there's quite a bit of shock cord in there, and that's to keep your, you know, hands cinched up so mosquitoes don't get in. But in a pinch, you could cut this out and use this shock cord to, you know, if you had a wound and you 
you know, like big gash on your leg or something, you can wrap your jacket or something, use a shock cord to tighten it on there and hold that in place. It actually has a huge one on the, on the waist. Like that's a lot of shock cord, you know, it like has as a kind of a backup. And I can just think of so many different ways I could use this. Like if I had a strap on my backpack brake, you could cut this off and tie it on there and use it in a, in a pinch to, you know, get your backpack working again. Like you could cut off all three and make a whole strap if the thing broke, something like that. So not only does it have utility in looking hideous as I do right now wearing it and keeping mosquitoes away, but also the shock cord um, is highly valuable in the woods. So hopefully you found this video helpful and you enjoy these backpacking frugal hacks, be sure to subscribe. And if you want to check out, I have a bunch of adventure videos. I hike all sorts of unknown, random, and unhiked mountains in Vancouver Island here. So until next one, have a great day.